Hey folks, Michael Neff here, Director of Gears Sports. So I wanted to kind of give you a little bit of an overview of how, you know, optical motion capture works. Gears is an optical motion capture system. Um, most of our labs have eight cameras. So the way that kind of works is there's eight cameras that surround the golfer. The golfer wears roughly 26 markers on their body and six on the golf club. So there's 31 markers being tracked during a golf swing. And basically we need at least two cameras to see the center of this marker at all times. So that's why we need more than one camera or two cameras. We need several cameras to be able to find out where this, uh, the center of this marker is. Um, we do capture this volume to within 0.2 millimeters, which is the thickness of a piece of paper. And what that means is that we, uh, we find the center of these little reflective markers. And in order to be able to accurately track this, the positioning of this little marker, we need to know where the center of it is. And so that's, that's why optical tracking is so critical. Um, if it would be really nice if we could make that flat, um, just you know, stick it on us or on the club, but we um, we simply, it's too, it's not accurate enough to be able to capture uh, a flat surface. We need actually a round sphere. That is the most accurate way to capture um, motion or to be able to see how something is moving. Optical systems, uh, we'll go into this a little more in a different video, but optical systems have, uh, we know exact, we know where zero is. We know. Uh, where the center of the room is, we know where the center of this marker is, and we're tracking it at all times. Um, 3D technology, what this really is all about is it allows us to take the 2D world and create a 3D image, avatar, whatever it is we want to call it, but it allows us to go into the 3D world. And the reason why that's important is because then we can attach math to what's happening. We can attach math to what the body is doing. We can attach math to what the club is doing. And um, it helps us to be able to see kind of like what's underneath the hood, what's really happening uh, underneath the hood. So we put the markers uh, on the body on the specific joints and on the club we put them on the shaft and on the head. Gears is the only product in golf at, at this frame rate uh, that will give you body uh, grip shaft and club head data at the same time so at the same time is pretty important so the reason why we need it all at the same time is because we need to see what's causing the club to do what it's doing and ultimately the ball to do what it's doing what's causing that to happen uh, so what is the body doing to the club well, how is the body influencing the grip how is it influencing the shaft and we've captured so many tour players and there's not one of them that's the same. Everybody has their own thumbprint uh, in, in the game of, of golf. So it's really critical to be able to understand what the body is doing to the club. So the thing I think I'm most proud of Gears about is that we've really bridged the gap between the body and the club. Um, kind of the bridge the gap between club fitting and instruction for, for you know, another term. But um, it, it's been really effective for a lot of our owners and uh, to be able to see, you know, cause and effect. And it really helps us get drilled down quickly to what the issue is so that we can help our students get better faster. We can help work on other things, you know. So 3D is really great technology to be able to quickly identify. It's beautiful. This is a 1080p environment. We're, we're rendering at 360 frames per second. Uh, at full frame. We don't render that down to make it look like we have all these frames per second. We literally are at full frame, 1.7 megapixel being processed on the camera itself. It is an Ethernet camera. We run um, 360 frames per second. We insert a frame on the ball so we report at touch. So all of our data is reported at touch and we're very transparent on how we get to that. So there's 360 frames per second, there's an inserted frame at the ball, we know where the front of the face is, we know where the front of the ball is, bam. So that's, that's really the key to optical tracking. That's, that's the strength of optical tracking. So it really, it's a great product to be able to see really what's happening. We can view it from so many different angles. This is a huge advantage to be able to 
see what's really happening at all different angles. We can compare to other players. We can compare, we can compare to uh, ourselves. You can do a, uh, a swing, take one swing, and then take one more on top of it and compare the two. You can overlay. This happens to be Ricky Fowler and Greg Norman. Uh, I'll put them both at impact. So that's a pretty big difference between two of the best drivers you know, in the game. One of them does it totally different than the other. So what's really causing what to happen and why do they do it and how, how, do, they, how, do, we, how do we help them? So I think that's what Gears is all about, really. It's just about, it's an easy way to see what's really happening under the hood. And uh, it allows us to look at the swings so uniquely. It's a beautiful landscape, which allows us to, it's a beautiful image so that we can really pinpoint what's happening. And uh, most importantly, we just have really, really accurate data. That's, that's, that's the name of the game for us. That's what we're all about here. We, we know where that marker is, and we know where it is within a 0.2 millimeters, which is the thickness of a piece of paper. So you can, you can take our data to the bank, um, and uh, we're really proud of this product. So if you have any questions, you can call our 1-800 number, 1-855-GEARS-NOW and ask any of our technicians or ask for me and we'd be more than happy to answer any of your questions. Thanks a lot.